guys, welcome back to Stitching with Callius, episode five, six, 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 six. fifth president. <laughs> um, our featured lady this week is Elizabeth Monroe, and I'm your host Jesse, and I'm Emmy. All right, what you wearing today? Today I have on some hand knit socks that Those mom pretty. made me. Um, she made them mismatched. These were your Christmas ones, These, weren't they? Yep, they were my Christmas ones. So the other sock is purple and blue on the heel toe. These and look really cuff. good together. <laughs> yeah, they do. Except these have been on my feet all day. So. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> what do you got on? This is my Maya shawl that I finally finished. At least my first progress mark. <laughs> Because I wanted to finish it for oh, Wild yeah. and Wooly You're, a couple weeks ago. And you're adding on a couple more. Yeah. I'll add on a few more. I think one more repeat of each. Maybe. I might get two out of it. I want to go until the yarn runs out. Yes. Alright. That'll be nice and big and cozy. It and... will be. I like it so far though. Yes. Right now it's, it's a comfy little wear. Especially with spring coming up. Yeah. You don't want it to be too, too heavy. Nope. All right, so today our question of the episode is, um, what are the jobs of our supporting people? So by that we mean like all the husbands and our little sister and all the people who help us behind the scenes yes. that you guys don't necessarily see. But who still help an awful lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. All right, so up first we've got our dad. His name is Marty um, and that's Melissa's husband. He does all of our woodworking things. He does like the yarn bowls. He helps make like displays and we have a new display idea we want him to do. Oh yeah. The, it's like, It'll be a, like little a hanging rack kind of. For all of our samples. <laughs> for the sweaters and yep. shawls and all the big things that are hard to like. Hard to hang up. But like those are the things you want to make. <laughs> right. And then we've got Brandon, who is my husband, he um, is in charge of heavy lifting. <laughs> he helps shove everything in the car before trips, moving things back and Clean forth. up after sometimes. Yep. And, um, and he is also um, a new investor. We've decided to, you know, we wanted to be more of a part of the business. So we invested some of our money now. And he's also in charge of our three little kiddos while I'm gone. <laughs> Except for sometimes you'll see our third one with us. <laughs> All right, what's Ben do? All right, Ben is in charge of creative <laughs> ideas for content. Um, Maybe we'll do one one day. <laughs> not all of them have we done. I don't even know if we've done any of them. We did. I think we did one. Maybe one a or couple two. Weeks. We did because we put it in our Instagram story. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's really like, he wants to see the behind the scenes. Yeah. This he has, is it. <laughs> he has a lot of ideas for us. Um, so maybe eventually we'll, we'll, we'll work get there. Um, and then he's also a heavy lifter for us. <laughs> um, and then he watches our kid kiddo kid your one little kiddo my one little goat <laughs> i said kid and i was like that mm. sounds weird sounds like a goat hey yep. this is the right place for goats though <laughs> right right <laughs> um, brandon and mom were talking about um different kinds of goats that like show oh, up no. in the fiber world he said something and i didn't know it it wasn't oh what was it it was cashmere i didn't know cashmere was a goat I didn't know that either. <laughs> That's what they said. I feel like that might. I they Is said it? it. Yeah, I guess so. I didn't know that. I but didn't know that. Apparently, Brandon does. <laughs> Mom knew it, of course. But apparently, he's also in charge of teaching us things. <laughs> um, and then Lexi oh. is the youngest of the three of us, and she is helpful with the last minute show prep. She also helps with the kids. Um. She's a lot easier to get to watch the kids than do right. show prep, though. And the animals. She <laughs> yes. helps with our animals. Yes. While we're gone. Because, uh, oh man, those animals. I think the boys would lose their heads if um, they had to watch the yep. kids and the animals. All right. Want to do some housekeeping? Housekeeping. We've got some so, big things coming yeah, up. Yeah, we do. Um, we have Stitch and Skeen, um, April 2nd and 3rd. 
and we're going to be doing a trunk show there and that is in Marion, Ohio. And that's going to be very soon. <laughs> yes, it's our second trunk show. Third trunk show. Third trunk show. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's just like, you know, <laughs> the week before and you're just like, oh my goodness, we've yeah. got a million things to do. Yep. So that's what's going on in my head right now. <laughs> I need to do this. I need to finish this. <gasps> And then also, on top of that this week... <laughs> Good uh, planning on our part. <laughs> right. We are sending out our first... Very first. first. Skin Story Unwound box. Um, and it should ship out on April 1st. Yes. Which, um, which enough, is not is a joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it is our youngest sister's birthday. So yes. Happy, happy birthday, Lexi. Yes. <laughs> happy early birthday. Um, And then... Let's, we'll be working. <laughs> yeah. We'll be working on your birthday. So will she. I was going to um, say, won't she do? Yeah, yep. That's thanks. Um, and then later the... um Late... Now. Late now. April. Now, oh, yeah. yeah. I, I skipped ahead. Skipping ahead. Um, now we have opened up our list for May's uh, sign-ups for our skin story box. And we've already picked our five colorways. So yep. we have three first ladies again. And, and two, two a influential. Company. <laughs> yeah. Influential um, women. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then later in April. Now. <laughs> um, we will be doing a another trunk show at Designing Women in Fairlawn, Ohio. And that's going to be with Suzanne. We're, who's we're awesome. really excited about that one. Suzanne and her daughter Tina and And we just heard it's yep. going this year is going to be her 40th, 40th year yep. in business. That's mm -hmm. that's really awesome. It is. So, that's congratulations yes. Suzanne. Um and then May 1st the two of us are having a guest appearance on Politically Incorrect Knitters. And we're going to be doing an interview with them. Um, we're very excited for it. Yeah, it's our first. Yeah, a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, but... very nervous. It's always yeah. like, her and I can like read each other's mind. Mm -hmm. We know what each other are going to say. And we don't always um, convey that to the world very well. We're trying. <laughs> um, we were, we're trying to put our it. mind reading. Yep. Yep. To you guys. <laughs> yep. Um, so, yeah, we've got that going on. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm sure we'll share the link for you guys to see it. Definitely. Yep. All right. And so our first lady feature, like Emmy said, is Elizabeth Monroe. Right? Thank you. She's so fun. Look at those fun. colors. There's some coral in there. Got some pink. That's there we go. Got, yeah. Got a nice gray, a soft Gray. Yeah, this would be really pretty for like a little girl's baby blanket yes. or, or a little, a little dress. dress, like a little jumper. We have to live through so vicariously cute. through you guys because we only have boys. <laughs> so someone make a dress out of this. Yes, please. <laughs> or even like it'd be a really pretty or, like spring shawl. Yeah, that'd like be a nice. cute little tee. Yeah, or even like oh, like a little shawlette. Or uh, or um. A little baby cardigan. Yes. That There's would so be many really things. cute. So many, Elizabeth Monroe is perfect for all things. <laughs> all right. Very pretty. Now about her, she was the wife of James Monroe, who is our fifth president. Um, so earlier I said it's our fifth president, but it's our it's sixth, our sixth episode. episode. So um, she followed her father to Paris, which I thought was really fun. What did they do? In um, he was what was he a, doing? I think a diplomat. Oh, okay. And doing, um, so they lived that kind of lifestyle. And oh, okay. So she followed him there, and she was so, like, they loved her over there. So she was dubbed La Belle Americaine. We, I, <laughs> we both took Spanish. Um, so and, I tried. <laughs> and we did not take French. And I know they're very similar, mm. but. But not this one. <laughs> We are not the ones to uh, speak it very well. No. <laughs> but she she definitely loved the lifestyle over there, too. She yes. was very fond of the their society and, yeah, and the elegance. Yeah. She So when she came back and she married James and became the first lady, um, 
she annoyed a lot of the diplomats' wives and other elites in the society back then uh, just because she enjoyed the French lifestyle more and how they threw parties. It's, it's considered the New York style. So and, higher class. Yeah, and smaller parties. parties. Yeah. Very, very elegant. Elegant the elite. was a good more <laughs> word. Yeah. Um, so she didn't host as much as Dolly Madison. Um, so much so that the American cabinet had a meeting and they, on her not hosting things. Um, Saying she needed to do more. Yes, but they ruled in Elizabeth's favor, so she didn't get in any trouble. Um, but her daughter, she was sick a lot, uh, so she, her daughter helped out a lot. Her name was Eliza Monroe, so she did a lot of the hosting for James. So... Maybe a new colorway coming up, guys. Mm -hmm. Got a new acting first lady. All right. And she was um, best remembered for her time in the White House for choosing the new furniture after the White House was rebuilt. Uh -huh. That's a neat thing to remember. Like, yeah. You got to pick the furniture. <laughs> you have to have some pretty good taste yeah. to be Especially remembered. Especially growing up in Paris. That's, right. You've got mm -hmm. some good... <laughs> All right. All right, now on to finish objects. All right, guys, so we have some very exciting news. I finished my blankies. Yay! Um, so it's all uh, Sorella yarn, and it's pretty big. Um, it would cover us both up. It would. Really well. Um, Maybe we'll put it on when we're done. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, the collection's not available anymore. It was a limited time collection but um i will run over the colorways with you this one is folklore it's like a dusty purple um i want to say this one is i can't remember what that one is i don't either mm. i'll think about I that one in like our very first episode she did i went over them um this one right here the blue and green that one is like mm, that one's out of the woods i believe um ivy is this green one you need to calm down is this craziness <laughs> he needs to calm down <laughs> yeah um cardigan is this white one which oddly enough matches your taylor swift cardigan almost perfectly like identically <laughs> yeah yeah um, and then this one is my favorite. Um, it is All Too Well. I was gonna say, which it's your is, favorite and you can't remember. It's one of our favorite songs <laughs> from that album. Um, and then this one is red. Very fitting. Maybe this one's Out of the Woods. I'm, oh, no. I don't know. I'm not remembering. Um, that one is Lover, the pink and blue. The gold is Gold Rush. I'm mix. I think I'm mixing up colors. Oh no! Now I can't remember what this one is. Maybe this one's all too well. I can't remember either. I can't remember. Um, I'm just uh -huh. doing really bad. I. <laughs> We'll put it in the show notes. Yeah, I can't remember what that one is either. And then, oh no. so it's 13 full skeins, and I had to break into a 14th um, just very, very minusculely. So, um, maybe we'll put little, um, the little, we can put up subtitles, little, little bubbles that so right show, here. <laughs> yeah, what the names are. Um, but now we're going to snuggle under my finish. Yay! Blanket. And you know, when we put the little bubbles up, people can count how many, <laughs> how many times. Right. <laughs> Not enough. See how many out of 14 she gets. And, and two are the same. So hopefully she same. got that well, one right. I did get that one right. <laughs> okay, good. Um, so there's two points. And yeah. Gold Rush, that one seems obvious. Yeah, Gold Rush and Ivy yeah. Yeah. and Cardigan. And you need to calm down and love her. It's just like. So we'll see. let's hope she's above a 50%. <laughs> we'll see. All right. Um, but yay, it's done. It is. I'm so proud of her for finishing something. It's, it's washed. It's dried. It is ready to go. Ready to go. I just have two little ends 
one on each corner to tie in. And whatever um, she washed in smells great. <laughs> it's so good. It's um so Rella's wool wash. Oh, um, okay. It was from the Taylor Swift collection. I think it was oh, so 19... you had to wash it with right. it. Right. <laughs> I believe it was the nineteen eighty nine smell. Good choice. <laughs> um and I also have one of the other ones, but I liked I like this one. All right, now for our second finished object. We have all the crochet blankets done yes. this week. Here we go. This one is for a little girl that we go to church. Well, we go to we church with her, her grandparents. grandparents. Yeah. yeah. Um, and she recently had to have a partial leg amputation. Um, so like we've said in the past, we make these blankets for anybody who is in need or you just sick needs... Or a little boost um so we were very happy to yes, make it for her yes. and it was fun because like look at all the fun colors that all the little girl needs and blues and purples and and bright green and yellow and, yellow. and this one looks like a mermaid and they're all they're sparkle fun. in some of them yeah they're all sparkle yeah it it was really fun jesse did a lot of the work um Mom did. Mom, Mom put all this put them together. All together. Too. I, I, I failed on this blanket. She did. I and helped. a few other ladies at church were helping as well. Yeah, I did. Squares. Um, I put borders on two of the squares <laughs> and two and a half of the squares. You tried. <laughs> I tried so hard. I just couldn't do it. I love the scalloped edge. That I did Mom too. Did. I didn't even notice it at first when she gave it to me. Yeah, but like I, when I took pictures, I at noticed first it. I wasn't. I didn't notice it, and then I saw her working on it, and I was like, "Oh, that's, that's really so adorable. cute." Um, so we I think it we're gets really happy how something this a little special. turned out. Yeah, that's a cute one too. I do like that. that's one I did. <laughs> I love it. I had it's very like unicorny. My mother in law gave me a bunch of yarn for like Hobby Lobby. Um, the I love this yarn. Yeah. Yeah. And so she got a that, bunch of those for me. That is really nice for blankets. Yeah. After you wash it, it gets so, so soft. soft. Mm -hmm. It's already soft. And then you wash it and it's you like. You just want to snuggle mm. up with it. So two blankets. Two, two blankets. And that's it. And that's a granny <laughs> square blanket. And then mine was a corner to corner. Yes. Um, both crochet. All right. What's up now, next? This week Mom. we're doing mom's work in progresses. Um. To give us a little more time to work on yeah. ours. I think we so both what? have our whips with us. So. We do. We're We've just doing progress. everybody's whips. <laughs> yep. Um, She's been very busy dying this week and last week. Yeah, so she hasn't gotten to work on much, but that gives us time to catch up a little bit. Especially <laughs> me on one of ours. We're both doing the same pattern, but. All right, so mom, this is the Normandy or. Nord Norderney. Norderney. I, I think she we did was Normandy last Normandy. time too. Norderney. <laughs> Isabel Kramer is the designer. Um, and it's Morehouse Farm. Morehouse Farms yarn. I know. I was writing that. I was <laughs> like, this is such a tongue twister. Yeah, I'm struggling. <laughs> um, and it's a sport weight merino. And we showed this one two episodes ago. And it's in lavender. Is the colorway, yeah. Um, so all she has to do is sleeves, but I love the cable. I love the cable, it's so pretty. Oh, I keep calling it her gray sweater, and she's like, <laughs> What gray sweater? I was like, Your gray sweater with the cable. She's like, It's not gray, this it's is lavender. Why <laughs> Mom tells me she's colorblind. I was like, It's a purpley gray, it's <laughs> lavender. <laughs> Did she put there. a tag in it? Oh, um, I thought I saw a tag. Sometimes she will. Yeah, sometimes she does put Especially tags for in, ours. But um, I love it. I'm going to steal it. It's She's going to put sleeves on and I'm going to take it. It just is so soft and cozy. So she just has to do sleeves on that one. Um, I'll scooch that one out of the way. See your next project. Let's see mom's next Okay, next is her sea glass tea that we've been working on. Um, on Saturdays, we've been going to a sweater club on 
at um, Designing Women. I got to go this week. I yeah, didn't work Jesse on that. Yeah, Jesse got to go with us and meet mm -hmm. Suzanne and her. Well, well you've Suzanne. known Suzanne. Yeah, it's just um, I you got her to meet her phone. daughter. Um, but I would, I just worked on a show while I was there. She got to crochet, but Mom, I we showed you mine last uh, episode. So this one's Mom. She's only allowed to work on it. <laughs> On Saturdays. Which I didn't know that. Or. I thought that was funny. Or if I'm with her and we're both working on it together. Because she has so much more done than me. <laughs> and we've been working on it the same amount of time. So you're going to show yours later, right? Yeah. So we can kind of compare them. <laughs> so here's mom so far. It's turning out so pretty. I love it. I do too. I think it will be really nice in the fall. Yeah. I just love the colors. Um, and so she has a bag of dark colors. Her medium colors. And, and then light ones. colors. She told and me she started with a medium. Medium. And then went light. Light, dark, dark. medium, light, dark. Yeah. Okay. So she rotates between the yeah. bags. And it's a top-down sweater. Um, the yarn, um, so this one's the Barocco Ultra Wool Fine, and it's the color, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, I can't find the color, uh, it just says color 53104, but it's like a very gray, a little yeah. brownish gray, a, little brown. a warm gray, I'll yeah, with that. Warm. and she used the um, Ash and Bumble Minis. It was a fall collection, I think, from last year that she got. So she's using those. And this is the pattern. It's the sea glass tee. Um, it's by Wool and Pine. Her patterns are really great. Um, along the way, she has little links that you can click on. And oh, that's really nice. She has tutorials. Um, That'd be great. Which is awesome. I love it because if you don't know... A certain step or you forget how to do it or whatever she has those and there right for there. you to <laughs> look at which I think has been very helpful and I I used it on this pattern and I'm doing another one of her sweaters what's the other one um it's the scotch broom oh tea. I didn't I forgot that yeah was her. I, I haven't worked on know. it in a while um you were being really good on that I one know. too but then I really wanted to get this blanket done and Anyways, so many so, options. Um, but it the her videos are very good and they're very helpful. Um, and then she's also working on four little little sweater t shirt sweaters. Two of them aren't so little anymore. The I third know. one's not very little anymore either. <laughs> we don't talk about it. We don't talk about Bruno. Right. Okay, I no, I, I think no. I messed it up. Okay, last week I messed it up, and then okay, so I told you guys that my um, magic circle was coming apart, and then I got home and my cat my ate cat the yarn. Ate it. So right now it's just hiding in my bedroom, and I don't want to look at it. So, okay. anyways, I did not mess this one up. This mm -hmm. is I'm trying to without the glare. without the glare. This. It'll have the cute little tie on it. Yeah. So the pattern is boys can wear pink, which we decided was We don't know of, why it's yeah. called that because the little boy in the yeah. photo is wearing a like an off-white shirt with a, with gray, a green, green tie. tie. Yeah. So we're not sure why it's called that, but... Yeah, but it's a cute pattern. It's a cute little shirt, um, and the boys are all going to wear this for Easter. And so this is by Kate Oates. Um, and she's using yarn B yarn for like the main part and of the shirt. Um, both yarns are cotton that she's using for this. And then the second one is the I love this cotton, so more yep. cotton. Um, do you have the four colors? No, just, oh. she just sent me with the she just sent main color. This is what she has so far. I think she said about four and a half inches, maybe five. Um, and Easter is in less than a month. But they'll get done. They always do. <laughs> so she, she better <laughs> get going. She needs to put that sea glass tea down right. and get moving on that. But that's how she always did our yeah. dresses and our Halloween costumes. Yep. Everything and... was last minute. We work best under pressure. We do. All of us do. Um, 
And then is this, your, this is my your yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right. Get in line. Gotta pull it on out. Yarn's hiding somewhere. Hmm. All right. So this is my Arabella shawl that I've been working on the last few episodes. I have finally made some progress. <laughs> Now that I have my got a lot done in my yard this week. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I have so far. This is what she was working on on and on Saturday at our yes. sweater club. All right. So it is there's four Okay, I guess there's technically like 12 different like rows for a repeat, but you're basically doing the same four things three times. Oh. But they just like spread the stitches out gotcha. differently. So we've got the Eliza Spaulding in that's our marled and that's Callie's design. So that's one of our yarns. I love the marled. I do too. I think marled is so it's fun. So cool. And it always shows up so differently than how like yeah. the skein was. Yeah. But I love it. And then um next up we had the super fine yarn co and she's in cleveland ohio and this one was uh, a one of a kind leaf mohair and then we've got created for you by laura which is the tweed and that was a golden poppy i think colorway and then up next was the mid coast spring mid coast strings targeeling twist it was number eight and that's a mill spun. Yeah. And this one, okay, so I did four, or I guess all 12 of the repeats of the first four, or first three. And then when I got to the mill spun, there wasn't enough for me to repeat it twice, so I just ran the whole thing out. And then we're going to mirror it on the other side. So we've got, I finished so the mill spun. you'll do your tweed, and then yeah. the mohair, and then the And then the tweed marled. is done now. So I've got the tweed. So done. you just need mohair and marl. And I've already started and then you're the marl. Yeah. That's my goal is to have it done before we go to um, stitch and skein this weekend. You're gonna get that done before this weekend. Yeah. That's wow. My goal. <laughs> so this, I only have this one. You can see my one of the rows. My your mohair. Fuzzy, <laughs> your fuzzy little mohair yeah. edge. So that I'll do that, and then. Um, just the marled. And I think I am most excited to do the marled just because I like seeing yeah. how it works up. And you had such a tiny little, like when you started yeah, it, it's such a tiny little square so just or triangle. Guy. <laughs> so it'll be nice to see like more of it. But I really, I like the mirrored look of it. I yeah. haven't done one like that. Um, yeah. And That'll I like be seeing cool. them all. This is, this is fun. It's turning out. So Very this neat. pattern was... I was, I was kind of questioning <laughs> my color choices. <laughs> I was questioning it, but it's looking pretty neat. Yeah. I think like how the colors are spread. Like you've got yep. like some blues up here, like a real green and yellow and green and yellow. And then, and then like more blues purples and purples and greens. And, yeah. I think this one really pulled it all together. I think so. I was glad yep. I decided to use it. I, I, I was questioning your... <laughs> I love choices. It. What inspired me was um, Mom's Stephen West. Oh, her the pink. Vertices Unite. Yep. She used like all these wacky, crazy pinks and like her whole collection of pink. And yellow. Yeah, and there's a little bit of yellow. Some corals. And... Mm -hmm. and just threw it all together for one of his, it was the Vertices Unite. And so it looks really neat. And so that inspired me to, That's what to do doing. these crazy ones. <laughs> and I wanted to like... I've never done a marled before or a mohair, and I think I've only done one thing in tweed. And, and I've never done a milspun. Never spun. done a milspun. So I want so to try just it all. Knocking everything <laughs> yeah. out in one straw. And I like the mohair. I was really scared to use just because it's so tiny. Yeah, and usually mohair, a lot of times it'll be held with a fingering. Yeah, but um, I, But it looks very nice. And I don't think it looks own. too skinny or anything. No, and it's not. You crochet very tight and very neatly. I like it nice um, and neat. And I but like it. It doesn't look like floppy. I'm glad. <laughs> I don't want to because <laughs> the mohair it can. Yeah. If you don't oh, well. have it um, tight enough. You guys could have told me that before. <laughs> before we started, I'm glad I didn't know. 
Because <laughs> that would have been bad. <laughs> oh, man. So I well, like you know. that my little... Okay, so you do bobbles every four rows, and I like that I all the bobbles the, yeah. line up together. Yeah. It, it keeps me they on track. Nice. Cause like, so there's a bobble, and then you do a single crochet, and I know I've messed up if my bobbles aren't lined up anymore. <laughs> so I like it so far. And I'll have it done this weekend. So if you're going to stitch and skein, <laughs> look for it. <laughs> Are you going to wear it? Um, I think so. Okay. I think I might wear that one day and this the and second then day. On Sunday, yeah. yeah. All right. And then my second thing is also for Easter. These are so cute. I'm just going to take this off for now. <laughs> this was supposed to be a surprise. I wasn't supposed to know about these. And then on Saturday. My <laughs> mom blabbed. <laughs> She sure did. And, and they're so cute. And so I really was on a roll with these and then I decided I wanted to finish that Friday. So I paused. So right now I have four little eggs. <laughs> they're not eggs. They're not eggs. <laughs> they're my bodies. You could make a cute little cord. Like if you have extra, make a little egg. Oh, that'd for be the funny. To hold yeah. In one of the other one's yarn. Oh, that'd be really cute. Yeah. Okay, so they are supposed to be bunnies. So we've got, this is... Number one's bunny, who I have the head for. The look at the cute little face. This is the first time I've embroidered anything, let alone a nose. So hopefully it looks okay. It looks so cute. I'm I'm excited to see these done. So this is bunny for one. These match all of their. I made them each their Christmas blankets. So these. They each had three of one color and then two of the other color. So this is the one that had two. So you had extra. I bought three you skeins. You bought three of each. To make the animals to go oh. with them. All right. Then this one is number twos. This is his. He doesn't have a head yet. Nope. That's not his head. <laughs> so we've got... One body. I was going to say, you had two heads done. This is my third one's um, little body. Also doesn't have a head yet. So it's just chilling like a little egg right now. <laughs> All right. And then we've got our fourth little bunny for her peanut. And there's his little face. These are so cute. <laughs> they kind of look ridiculous without their ears right now. <laughs> I think, I think it was, they're really cute. I like them. I can't wait. <laughs> I think they'll them be all cute. Done. So I'm, I've been like keeping track on like taking little mini videos so I can do like a put together uh, real fast. Yeah. Yeah. We finally have a TikTok video. We haven't. Yeah. We have not posted on TikTok <laughs> no. lately. But this will be fun for you. Yeah. Me. It will. Um, all right. And that's all I'm working on because both of these have to be done ASAP. <laughs> I need yeah. four bunnies and one shawl. ASAP. These are so cute. Oh, and those. I am using the pattern from um, Crochet C Cute Critters by Sarah Zimmerman. So she has um, a pattern for every letter. So like A is um, do 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 do. That's such an alligator? No, I don't I think it's an alligator. Oh, it is an alligator. <laughs> ah, a is an alligator. All right, B is a bear, C is a cat, and they just go on. And so this is my R is a rabbit for Easter. And These I really like the pattern. I like them. And her patterns, like I had never done amigurumi before. And they these are my third through seventh animal, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So it'll be my sixth, third through sixth animals. And I'm... They're very easily read patterns to do. Yeah. I've never tried. Um, this is the book to try. You can try it. Mm. Really, they're not bad. It's oh, a lot no. of magic circles. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> magic circles. <laughs> I don't they learn how not, to do it. <laughs> they are not my favorite thing to do. And then I just used uh, it, the yarn was from Hobby Lobby. And and it's all, um, I love this yarn. Yep. Yeah. So they're very soft and... My little Easter bobbles. Little eggs. Yeah. I'm very excited to get them done. I think yeah. they'll be cute. They will so be. So I have two more faces to crochet or embroider on and yeah. sewing's not my strong point. <laughs> um, Alright. What have you been working on? Well, 
this week I finished um, some labels, stickers. This is not going to agree with back. me. This one's less shiny. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, they look it's really upside good down. in person, though. <laughs> they're upside down. Um, but they're little, um, they are clear stickers that our dad will be um, putting on the bottom of his bowls, his okay, yarn so bowls. This, Emmy had gotten him, uh, <laughs> so this is her face. <laughs> So I was so disappointed in this. It was, this. Uh, uh, what's it called? A, a branding, branding iron. iron. Yeah, so like it was supposed to but burn his logo into the wood. I designed his logo. Very he disappointing. had no idea I did it. It was his Christmas present. And it was like the coolest idea and, ever. Um, it wouldn't burn anything. It would not. It wouldn't do anything. It was an electric branding iron. It did, however, come with um, just the like a a stick basically uh -oh. for he could heat it in the fire i wonder if that would work and burn it in that way like this is very they did in the olden days but it just is so sad and it wasn't so, cheap either he, no it wasn't her and lexi bought it for him it's um, not cheap so this won't have the white on the background but he'll stick that on the bottom of the wood and then pour a layer of epoxy mm -hmm. um or the resin is the same thing um and then it'll have his logo in there so i finished those and printed although them. i feel like on this one at least we should put like a bottom layer. like a color just to hide over that. it yeah it just wasn't the bowl is gorgeous and love the bowl <laughs> and then you look at the bottom so maybe i'll convince him to put a bottom layer on this yeah one. i think we need to but this is Dad's bowl. It's so pretty. About. I love this one. To me, it's very mermaid esque. Yeah, Dad and doesn't really was, um, care for this one, right? No, he likes it. He okay. it's just not what he wanted. Yeah, he wanted to see the colors less separated. Um, but they kind of mix, which I like about it. He wanted to see I the colors. I love it. To um, me, it's very mermaid. And he still has to put in the swirl. Yeah. Um, but I think it's so pretty. I love the wood. That he used. Is this um, one's the burled? The burled, yeah. It's so fun. And it's a gorgeous wood. And so there's the inside, and you get to see all the colors in there, too. Yeah, and we'll have these with us at our shows. We will. Um, he's got a pine cone one going right now, and that one's really cool. It's a very pretty purple. Um, what else? So, did... okay, so my job in the bowls <laughs> is to do, I cut out the wood and we play some and like, we've done abstract ones like this one and the purple heart are abstract. Mm -hmm. The, um, mine was just like a traditional solid wood. solid wood with some crevices filled in with the resin. And I like it. That was pretty too. Yeah. And then Emmy mentioned the pine cone one. I'm excited to see that one. I, I saw just the outside. It was I neat. love the purple that we chose for that. Yeah, Emmy got to help pick the colors for that one. It was fun. Um, um but I okay, so the pine cones you can mostly just see them right here so far. And oh, he's pretty deep down here. Oh, so really? I don't know if we'll get to see him down here. Yeah. They must like, have rose. I up. think they They had or the I don't know if they rose. The resin shrunk. Yeah, I don't know. Or they just might have like since they curved, maybe. they might have curved oh, in, in down at the bottom. Maybe. But you'll and be able to see, see it more inside. on the inside. Which is fine. I like is you can just see the tips of the pine cone right now, and I like that because otherwise they look kind of centipede. <laughs> I say they look like tree roots, and she says they look like centipedes. They do. Uh, you can think tree roots though, but it's cool. I do yeah. I like the pine cones. We still. should do a poll. Right. Tree roots, centipedes. Tell us what you think. Next, Let's we'll you. show you when yeah, we we'll, have it done. Yep. Um, so this was mine and dad's project. He yep. so. I, I cut all the pieces out and we both pour the resin um, and pick our colors and everything. And then he turns it on his lathe uh, into this magic little piece. Yeah. He does and a great job. He's he's just starting out, really. But, yeah. I mean, it's Maybe such great work. It it's is. so and this, pretty. The 
pinecone one, he's doing like a honey pot top on it. Oh, that's It's really cool. cute. <laughs> I love it. And so we have that one. Um, and then so we it'll did, be like this, but, but on, on the, the top. top. Yeah. Okay. So this one, mom's yours uh the pine cone and then we did a red and the, silver yeah. one which kind of blended so it'll be neat to see how it yeah turns so yeah. that's five bowls that so will. far hopefully my goal is to take at least three of them down <laughs> we'll see though yeah but um, we'll definitely be having yeah. more as we as he makes more bowl yeah we'll have more to sell and show you guys um, very exciting yeah, so I did the labels for that. Um, um, I know what you did, Emmy. <laughs> oh, I thought we were doing that last. Oh, okay. We can save it. Okay. Save the best for last. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's do my whips real quick as I throw it across the floor here. Um, Is it really a whip if it hasn't been rolled across right, the floor? Right. <laughs> no kidding. So, stab you with my... I'm like... <laughs> Um, I'm trying very hard to get this done for Easter. Oh, that's what I, I, I um, have mine on Easter too. <laughs> my it, shawl. Oh yeah. It is my rocket tee. It's a mess right now because my yarn is all <laughs> tangled up. Um, I really, I did one repeat and then I'm halfway through another repeat. Um, so I was really trying to get this blanket you done so I could then focus on these see i'm telling you the one wanna... project at a time i don't know about <laughs> that so my rocket tee um i'm working on it and we're was, getting that was there tannis right tannis it might be i don't remember we'll put that above us too yeah tannis something <laughs> um and who who was the yarn that was um, that is dragon. knitted wit oh, okay and that was under the sea. Under the sea. And then this, this is the one with the dragon horde yarn. Oh, okay. I knew um, there was one with dragon horde. This is my uh, sea glass tea. I've made some progress on this. I did six rows at Sweater Club on Saturday. I oh, was that's so good. proud of myself. Look how fun it is. Me and Mom were both doing um one color all throughout and then... Um, the color work is one by one color work and uh, just switching every two rows to a new color. Um, I think the pattern says to switch every row. But I think that's what you said. That's too much work. Too many ends to tie. Too many things to worry <laughs> about. So we do. I kind of like it with the every two, other though. row. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Um, I did just get. A little ring to hold my yarns separate um so oh, they don't get twisted. I was wondering what you guys kept talking yeah. about the ring for. Mom was wearing it and it has it looks like um it's like a spiraled piece of metal and then it has one hole here and one hole at the top and oh. you feed your yarn through it and it keeps your yarn from getting twisted. That's smart. Otherwise, you're sitting there and untwisting yarn <laughs> when you could be knitting. And mom got hers out and she was saying how much faster it's been going. She did. And I keep telling her I need to get one. And then I finally, I finally ordered it. Um, so I'm excited to try it with that and see how it goes. Um, I really like working on this. I just... Uh, have not had a lot of extra so you're just working time. These top down or bottom up? Top down. Um, and then I'm about to do. I'm like this far away from the end of the row, from my fingers. Um, and then I will do my third set of increases. I can't remember how many there are. Like six increases, maybe. And then you split for the sleeves. Oh, um, that's fast. Which will just be a um, short sleeve shirt. Um, I think mom said she's doing three quarter length. I'm just going to do a t-shirt. That's what she but, said. Um, I'm, I'm really liking working on this. And See? I'm using a bunch of different minis that I've had and um, Knit Picks uh, Stroll. So the minis were Dragon Horde Dragon and, Horde and Laughing, Laughing Cat. Cat. 
and then nitpicks and everything was in my collection um so it's kind of meant to be like a stash buster you need if you that. have any scraps <laughs> or anything like that um, emmy has a whole yarn store as her stash if you need something go to emmy's i don't house. know what you're talking about <laughs> um and then i did get some yarn this week yay so Leslie from um, Naughty Knitwits mm. really inspired this yarn purchase. Almost every episode or like every other episode that they film, she talks about her half and half wrap. And I'm like, I want to do it, but like mm -hmm. I haven't committed to it yet. She committed. And she, <laughs> she kept talking about it, kept talking about it, how great the yarn is. And mom used the linen quill yarn in a sweater and I tried it on the other day and I was like oh this is nice what is this that is really and nice she yarn. told me and I was like oh I'm making that wrap so she got the linen quill one too yeah okay. but she used it for like a cardigan no no not mom oh Leslie, Leslie oh. yeah um, I knew this looked like mom's yeah it's so I bought three of these so half of it will be just solid, um, what's this color? Dark Iris. Um, and this is Pearl Soho Linen Quill. Um, so half of it will be this color way. And then I got three more neutrals to stripe. Um, this one is Lavender Opal. It's a very, very light. It is very light. Lavender. Um, and then this one is peach, peach stone. I don't think that one looks very peachy. I don't, though. I don't either. Maybe a peach um, stone is a thing. Maybe it is. I wonder. That's and not peachy at all. <laughs> no, I didn't think so either. And then this one is... Maybe it is, because these are all, like, that's a flower. Oh, yeah. Lavender is a thing. This one is called Pale Mushroom. Um, so I just, like, this color combo is so pretty. I think I kind of want to buy this yarn now. I love it. It's very squishy. <laughs> and it really, it wasn't too expensive. It's, like, 18 Oh, that's not awful. For a skein? Yeah. Yeah. And, like, they're more of, like, the solid. They're yeah. not, like, crazy colors or anything. Um, But it's so soft, and it just gets softer when you wash it. That's why so, I need another sweater <laughs> quantity. I know. So I got, well, I just got a, a six. Six skeins is for the large size. And then I think the small is four or three. Um, so it's very I got, cozy though. I got six of those. Um, I'm excited to start that. I I'm wanting to get some other stuff off the needles before I before you start, start more. And then um, I've got two more. Oh, the ones you just bought. Yeah. Well, this one, <laughs> this one was really cool. Um, a oh, while ago. That one. Well, that's because I didn't buy it. Oh. <laughs> um, a while ago, Wool and oh, Honey. Okay. Did this special. Um, and it was like at the beginning of the year, and they were saying like how hard the last two years have been for everybody, and not everybody has had extra money to buy yarn or like do something nice for themselves. For themselves. Yeah. Um so they gave away a twenty five dollar gift card to anybody. Anyone who signed up. <laughs> Anyone who put it in their cart and checked out. It got, literally broke the internet. <laughs> it did break the internet. It stopped <laughs> their, their, their website. Internet. It stopped working for a couple days. They ended up extending it just so people could be able to get it. And I got one. And I got, got one. And, and yep, and we all three found it. We all three got one. Um, so this was my pick from that. Um, it is spin cycle yarns. 
um, dyed in the wool is what it's called. Um, and I believe the colorway is absolute zero. Wow. It's just so it pretty. It matches your it's so like soft colors. It's like berry theme. and blue and I just love it. I thought it was hand spun. It's not. It's mill spun, but I'm totally. So you could do a fun so show I like could, mine. But I got, I bought, oh, so I bought a couple more of these. Um, so I did get the one with the gift card and then I bought a so couple more. So you did more. buy yarn. <laughs> I did because so these are 50 gram. I was going to say they look small. I believe they're 50 gram. I can't find the weight on them. That right because I looked at those. Um, but they're 200 yards. It's a sport weight. Um, I think I found a pattern to do with it. But That'll I don't remember off the top of my head what it was. It almost um, looks marbled more than Mills fun. That's that's really awesome that they did that and I'm very thank appreciated. You. Yes, <laughs> thank you for doing that. Um, I know that's a lot of money for I mean for you, um, but it for them to do. But made our day, and I'm yeah, sure made a lot yep. of other people. So we we appreciate it and. I spent a little extra there, so, so hopefully I gave back who, to you guys as well. Everyone else who right, got one, maybe they can right. spend a little extra too. Um, and then my last purchase on Saturday <laughs> at Yarn Club, um, I was just sitting there. And then I, I got up and wandered around the store. And these three colors, well, it's two colors, um, but three skeins. We're sitting together and calling out and calling name. my name. <laughs> so these are um, Ba Yarn La, jo La Jolla. Sorry. Um, and this, the two speckled ones, this is the color Smokes on You. Which I thought was funny. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> Jokes on You. Right. Um, cute. But they've got like very subtle little pops of color um and then my coordinating skein is bear my soul um i just they were sitting next to each other and i was staring at them and they just go perfectly together um, have you thought about what you want to do with them no, yet no no just a fun I just, purchase i i just yep fun purchase so we I like it. I like this yarn. It's very nice yarn. Um, and we like mm -hmm. supporting Suzanne and, and lo any local yarn yeah. stores, small yep. yarn stores. But I thought it was fun. So yeah. I did that. Um, and then our last part of our day <laughs> is all of our new dyed yarn. Yes. So first up, we've got Sparkle back in stock to die Yay. again. Very excited Sparkle's for that. Sparkle's been hard to find. It has. So we've got Florence Harding on a Sparkle. You can see her shimmer. And this is original Florence yes, Harding. Yes, original Florence Harding. Because there's not just one anymore. <laughs> there's not. <laughs> there's This one is Floral Mabel Kling, which is her maiden name and middle name. Um, so those I love those go very nicely together too. And then <laughs> we have this one, which it's is Harding House. So they our show in Marion um, is Florence Harding's birth, like birth town, and she was raised there, and they moved back there after his presidency, and they have their house there, and. This is, um, it's very green with some white on it, white trim. And so this yarn was inspired by, by the house. house. Yeah. Um, but we also talked about, we talked about this in our group text last night, but what a pretty fade that would be. It would. I was thinking like. Like if you did the comfort Cardi fade yeah. or find your fade, those are it some would. knit patterns. And it sparkles. Um, but <laughs> Like it, it's just perfect. I, yeah, I love them. I, I mom 
Um, You're going to be buying those next. <laughs> I know. She dyed just a straight green for me so I could put it with one of them. But yeah. I'll be putting, I think I'll be putting it. We got a new base, which is also very exciting. Yes, we did. She did a lot on this too. Yes. She got a lace weight. And it's still the British VFL. Yes. Which it, is our it's main. It's got like a halo around it. Yeah, it's, it's glowing. <laughs> yeah. So here's Florence. And that's Florence on the lace weight. And just to show you guys the, well, here's the lace and Here, here's think... the sparkle. We've got, I think we have the bigger. No, the original one is at home. Um, no, that's the, uh, that's lace weight. Yeah. So the original one's at her house right now. I stole a bag of yarn, but not that one. <laughs> so uh, there's those. And then we've got, um, let's see. This was the Florence Mabel Kling on the lace weight in the British BFL. And there's her with the sparkle. Also, so I think it it's fun pulls to... differently. Yeah. Like it's more yellow. And you can some definitely spots. see the yellow on this one, but yeah. not like this one. Yeah. I thought it was neat how to see like it definitely the, how the took is. more of the yellow on yeah. that. And then and, and then, she'll be dyeing these all on the um fingering. On fingering, weight. yeah. BFL too. And then, and then this one was oh. the Florence, the Harding House. The Harding House. And this yeah. one is the lace weight. And this one is the sparkle. And again, maybe the base is more yellow. It is a more yellow base, but I think it picked up a little yellow too. Yeah. It is definitely a, a it has a different color. This yeah. is more white. The sparkle is more white. And then and she has a I new love colorway. This one. With no name yet. This is no name colorway. <laughs> Which happens to be my aunt name. <laughs> no name. <laughs> aunt no name. Uh, but this one, I think it's very pretty. It was just fun and springy. Yeah. And this is I on like the, it. the lace weight. Yeah. And then Emmy had to die. I got to die. <laughs> so this is my newest. This is all done on the... I only got to dye the lace weight. And then um, soon I'll put it on... We'll put it on the fingering... You should go over um, sometime this week. We were going to. We were talking about it, but maybe I tomorrow night. Maybe. Um, but this one is called. We decided on. Do you remember Emma Watson? <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't remember. I think for it's a I almost for her. said. I was gonna say Hermione. <laughs> um, it does look like Hermione's ball Hermione's gown. dress. Yeah, yeah, that was not the inspiration, but it worked but, really well. Yeah. Um, it's got pink and peach and mauve and hot pink and purple and all it's sorts very of, pretty. yeah, just tons of different elements. Um, some brown speckles throughout. Um, yeah. I love it. It was a lot of fun. I really just, I went a little crazy <laughs> with it. Mom came over. She was soaking some yarn to dye and I'm just like... <laughs> Go as fast as I can. <laughs> Making a mess, essentially. All the um, and mom's like, don't you be splashing dye on my yarn. <laughs> Mix like, the dye. It's fine. <laughs> they all end up with pink on them anyways. <laughs> they so. do. On purpose or not. Yeah. I I really like it. I was very happy with how it turned out. I like it um, too. So this is Emma Watson. All um, right. All right. You got anything else for tonight? I don't. Um, like our video, subscribe, check us out on Instagram, um, find us on Facebook. Comment on any of them. <laughs> yeah, leave us a comment. Let us know. What do you think? Let us know your new favorite yarn. Um, Currently, mine's um, Florence Maple Cling. I like it with the blue and the green. This one's my favorite. That's very pretty. I'm biased, but... It's also pink. And I'm not else? a green person. Well, and don't forget. Yes. Our lovely lady lovely of the guest. hour. Yep, Elizabeth Monroe. Yes. So all very fun springy colors. So yes, you can find yes. them at um, either Stitch and Skein or uh -huh. um, online or at Designing Women. Yes. All right. Um, we'll see you next time. And thanks for joining as we unwind in skeins together. Or I messed wow. up. I'm so disappointed. Thank you for joining as we unwind our schemes and history together. Bye. Bye.